close your eyes, get in touch with your breath, be on friendly terms with the breath. Because when you're on friendly terms inside, then it's a lot easier to be on friendly terms outside. You have a sense of well-being that you generate from within. And then you can generate goodwill. All too often our goodwill is, is human goodwill. In other words, we have goodwill for people who are nice to us, people we like. And it's very easy to have ill will for people we don't like, people who have wronged us or wronged people that we love or people we're concerned about. But the Buddha challenges you. Can, can you raise your level of goodwill from the human level to the Brahma level? The Brahma level has goodwill for all. Where do they get it? Well, they have to generate it from within. So they have to learn how to treat themselves well. Any thoughts that come into the mind that would be destructive, you just put them out, put them out, put them out, like a fire that's beginning to spread. The more quickly you can put it out, then the less danger there is. And remind yourself that it is for your own good. That the primary reason the Buddha has you develop thoughts of goodwill is because you will then do and say and think things that are a lot more skillful. You can learn to trust yourself more. Again and again, the Buddha is putting the emphasis on what you can do, your power, your agency, your role as an actor in shaping your life. Of course, you have an influence on the people around you, so you want to make sure it's good, and that makes it easier to shape your life well. The two go hand in hand. But when you look at the world, and sometimes the condition of the world, especially as we see it through, filtered through the media, is pretty bleak. But we have to remember, there are messages that what's important in your life is something that somebody else is doing someplace else. Whereas the Buddha's message is what's important is what you're doing right here, right now. And so you want to make sure that your actions are well motivated, that your intentions are skillful, and goodwill is a good place to start. So find the strength within yourself to generate goodwill as much as you can, and make it unlimited. Human goodwill plays favorites, which is why the goodness that comes from it is only partial. A Brahma level of goodwill plays no favorites at all. Have goodwill for everybody. Goodwill for human beings, goodwill for little animals. Spread your goodwill around, and your mind will become larger as a result. After all, that's the kind of mind that Brahma has, measureless. It's because they're able to make their goodwill measureless as well. <laughs>